A brand new AI video model just got released a few days ago and it is by far the best one I have seen to date. The craziest part is that it's from China. Yes, China is now winning the AI video race against the United States. I'm gonna show you some of the craziest examples and then I'm also gonna show you how you can use this 100% free, so let's jump right in. So this new model is called Hai Luai. I'm not pronouncing that right, but I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can access this yourself. Basically, you come to the website, you type whatever you want, and it'll basically just generate this for you. You can see that there's a bunch of generations here of people that have just generated them right now. These are really, really incredible. Like I said, this is the best one I have seen so far and I have tested every single one that's come out. Luma, Kling, you name it, I've tested them all. And this one is by far the best. It's definitely better than Runway. It's definitely better than Luma. And it's it's just amazing. The only one I haven't tested is the OpenAI one. That has not come out yet. It's called Sora. Whenever that comes out, I'll test it. But for now, this is the best one I've seen. The crazy thing about this that I can tell is that whoever did this had a real cinematic eye when they were creating these videos. They somehow knew to put this cinematic feature in almost all of the videos. And you'll see what I mean when we come through these. Some of the camera angles, some of the movements just seem so cinematic cinematic to me. So again, this is just like a preview, some kid playing a video game, the video game comes to life. I mean, how cool does this look? I think you can take this right away and just put this in TV shows, put it into your own content creation, which I'm seeing a lot of content creators do right now. I'll make a video on that separately, how people are actually making a ton of money creating AI generated content and adding it to their videos. But I mean, you can just see how amazing these look. Again, the cinematic quality is really what struck me here. So you have this royal cat in this room. I mean, we'll go through a few more of these and then I'll show you a viral thread on Twitter. So, um, so here's like, a, you know, basically a scene from a TV show, you could say with like a royal who's packing their clothes, another potential scene from a movie or TV show, some kind of, you know, evil dude here in, in some castle or old pyramid conjuring a, a spirit. So yeah, like I said, it's really, really, really good. <laughs> and I'm super impressed. So we'll go through a few of these. And then, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll do some test generations for you as well. So this one's pretty cool too. This looks like some kind of mecha fight that's happening here in the future with some <laughs> explosions and diamond creatures. This is pretty cool too. It's like a pixel generated cat living in like a pixel world. So you can see it doesn't just do those cinematic videos. It can do other stuff as well like this. I saw some really cool anime examples as well um, that I'll show you, which I thought were really, really good. So this is kind of like a Godzilla. Uh, walking through a forest here. So let's watch that. Yeah, this one's pretty awesome too. And so here's one of those anime ones I was talking about. Like I said, they just sort of have this like movie TV show quality to all of the videos, which I think is really, really cool. So we'll go through this thread um, of some of the most popular ones that came out. Again, this just came out a few days ago and it's 100% free. Anybody can use this. So people are basically doing this and then they're adding uh, audio from like 11 labs and things. So here's like a bunch of zombies chasing this girl here. Here's like an army of soldiers walking into a battlefield. This is pretty cool. I love like the castles and the way the soldiers look really awesome. Yeah, like I could see this in Game of Thrones for sure. Look at those explosions too. Really awesome stuff. So these are like some secret agents going into uh, some kind of battle here. This is pretty cool. Kind of has like an Umbrella Academy feel. Now, I'm not going to tell you you can't tell if this is AI or not. But out of the box AI video being generated that looks this good, I think is awesome. And again, I think it's the best one out there right now for that reason. So this one's kind of cool. So uh, I thought some of the kids stuff is really cool too. Some of these uh, dancing in the fairies. So <laughs> some of these like children's story things. So like. You know, I, I, what I'm noticing a lot too when I'm when I'm online is that a lot of the really, really popular AI generated videos that go viral online right now are directed towards kids. And I'm, I'm assuming this is because kids don't really care if it's AI generated or not. Um, they're not looking for the little cues of, oh, this is AI or it isn't AI. Um, and they just want something cute and fun that they can watch, which this obviously is. Um, so I'm muting a lot of these because I don't want to get copyrighted for the for the audio. Start to fly. Dreams will never say goodbye. But I, I, I don't know if this is original audio or not, but you can just see how cool this video is and how, you know, this could entertain a kid for hours and hours and hours on end. Um, just, you know, cats doing cute stuff like this. 
And again, it's it's sort of this like clay animation um, type of, uh, you know, 3D video here, which I think is really cool. And it's not just that sort of movie cinema stuff as well. Long line of shots of Earth. Going back to the movie cinema stuff, I mean, again, it's so impressive. I mean, so, so impressive. This is awesome. This is like some kind of post-apocalyptic world. Kid holding a teddy bear. I mean, that is really quality. Yeah, I mean, super impressive. I know I keep saying that, but... Every time one of these new models comes out and it's better than the last, my mind just gets more and more blown. And again, the crazy thing too is that it's coming out of China. This is not from the US, China. It's crazy to me because when I think about, you know, who should be leading this race, I think it should be OpenAI. I think it should be, you know, Runway, some of these US companies. And to see this coming out of China, really, it's impressive to me. It's impressive that they're able to come up with stuff like this. I personally think as we go through more of these, that OpenAI needs to release Sora as quickly as possible. I think they dropped the ball in waiting as long as they have. Sora, you know, the, the first demos came out like eight months ago or something, and they looked so, so good. And then since then, so many people have come out and released things like this that look so incredible also, which are sort of, you know, taking away some of that shine that Sora had originally. So whenever they do release it, I think people are going to be a lot less impressed with the model than what we're getting right now with these models as these start looking so, so good. So I think the U.S. is losing this race right now, unfortunately. A young boy. So again, uh, sort of like a children's, uh, you know, game here, which is pretty cool. He's playing with these characters, and they're they're in the game also. I mean, this is this is awesome. The expressions on their faces too. That's something else I wanted to mention. The expression on the faces of the people is actually looks really real. I mentioned in another video how when people smile and talk in these AI videos, it looks so fake, like their expressions on their face. This model, I think, does a really good job of that. That's not the best example there, but I think, you know, in general, when you look at some of these, I think it does a really good job. Um, and we'll try to find an example of that. But like you see him talking there and the expressions on his face, they look so like genuine. They just look like so human to me. Yeah, that's, that's impossible to tell if that's a real kid or not. Like just the way he's talking right there, like that clip right there where he's talking right there. That looks so realistic to me. And that does not have any of those like AI cues where you would say like, oh, this is definitely an AI generated, uh, you know, face or person talking. Really cool. So a few more we'll go through here. So just more of the cinematic stuff. This is pretty cool. I love this sci-fi stuff. I love what I, I love what this can do to the sci-fi genre, honestly. I think it's gonna be really awesome. So more of this kind of like post-apocalyptic kind of stuff. And these models here are pretty cool. So I don't know what this is, but it's really creepy. Just a bunch of pigs, I guess, working on a construction site or something. Oh, they're wearing pig masks. Okay. That doesn't make it less creepy, though. That actually probably makes it more creepy. So, yeah, expect a lot of weird, creepy videos to come out of AI. Another weird, creepy video. Uh, expect a lot of creepy stuff to come out of these AI models, um, if you haven't already. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that is so weird. Is this pigs eating pigs? Oh, no. Okay. We're done with that. Again, more creepy stuff here. Some creepy clown. But I mean, look at the expression on his face here. That looks so like real to me, like real human expression. It doesn't have those like AI features that you get with a lot of human expression. <laughs> this is so weird. But this is where we're going. This is the future. Get ready. More weird stuff like this. So here's the rock eating a burrito. The eating is not as good as cling, I will say. It's not bad. 
not quite as good as Kling. I think, again, what this model does best is facial expressions, like this one here. So again, so we'll come back here. I'll just show you how this works real quick. So basically, you just come to this website. You don't need to sign up for an account. You don't need, need to do anything. You just type what you want, hit this button right here. So it's a Chinese website. Obviously, this is all in Chinese, um, and it'll generate what you requested. So I came in and I typed um, a friendly dog running in the park uh, with a bunch of happy kids. And this is what I got. I mean, that looks great. That looks fantastic. Some kind of a golden retriever mix with its ears flopping as the kids are running behind it. It looks great. I mean, it definitely has some AI generated cues, but it looks awesome. So basically, yeah, you just come up here, type whatever you want. So I'll just say uh, two anime characters in a Pokemon style having a battle with mythical creatures, anime cartoon. And then if I generate this, basically goes into the queue, it'll generate this again, 100% free. I don't know how much longer this is going to be free. So take advantage of this because like Runway, for example, Luma, these are expensive models to run. So if you don't want to, you know, have to pay for it right now, just come in here and use this. There is a queue, like this is going to take a long time to load. It, it takes like a, you know, it's not like a minute or two, like you get with Runway. This is probably going to take five, 10 minutes, but the fact that it's 100% free is a huge advantage. So come take advantage of this right now, come to this website and start using this right now and see what you can produce. I'm, I'm very excited to see what you could produce with this. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I do a bunch of videos like this. I keep you people up to date with AI, what's happening in the world of AI. I do tutorials on how to use software like this, how to build, you know, full software applications, you know, doing code with AI. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you're interested in stuff like that. If you want to learn how to make money online, go ahead and sign up to my newsletter. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below, along with a link to this video model so you can try it for yourself.